The title of my abstract is The Process of Engaging Lay Communities in Preventing COVID-19 Transmission, a Health Promotion Approach. And I am Nadika Ratnayak. Empowering communities is the key to defeat the community spread of COVID-19. Only raising awareness is not effective. For knowledge to be applied efficiently, people should be stimulated to make it, make it as part of their daily lives. Thus, we thought of engaging lay communities into this process of preventing COVID-19 transmission using health promotion approach. The aim of the present abstract is to describe the steps of this process. And our long-term aim is to distribute this process throughout the country with the experience gained. In my next paper, I will discuss the lessons learned from this study. This was a community intervention conducted in three districts in Sri Lanka, namely Anuradhapura, Munaradala and Trikumali over a period of five months. And this process was mainly led by a group of four trained lay community members called lead mothers. And these lead mothers were trained on health promotion approach from the Department of Health Promotion in Rajariti University. And they have developed a set of health promotion competencies. In this pandemic situation, it was very difficult for us to reach the communities physically in order to initiate the process. So we used telephone conversations and other online platforms to initiate a process with them. And that was a novel experience for the researchers as well. The steps of our process was, the first one was, we created a series of imaginary stories to initiate the process with the late mothers. Second step was, late mothers were guided and trained by the principal investigator. In the third step, late mothers recruited other participants for the study and implemented actions with them. And academic researchers assessed how well the process developed with the late mothers. And late mothers were maintaining reflective diaries throughout, their, uh, throughout the process and Telephone interviews were conducted at the end. In results, an imaginary story series with seven episodes were developed, and these imaginary stories mainly discussed how to assess the apparent risk in household, how to prevent the transmission, and how to help the other people in this pandemic situation. And these stories describe the stories of three families with different socioeconomic status. Then, as per the key messages reflected in these stories, late like mothers started to assess the level of risk in each household depending on the levels of the exposure using a tool called Corona Calendar. In the slide, you can see a Corona Calendar marked by children in Trincomalee. So mothers, in addition to that, used another tool called Wellbeing Calendar to measure the adherence to proper safety measures. And by using these tools, they could determine the apparent level of risk for their households and they could identify the family members who are not following safety precautions properly. This process was started within families and it was spread gradually to the neighborhoods and the communities. Late mothers started this process with four to five families in their neighborhoods and at the end of the five months, it was distributed to nine in Trinkamali, 129 in Monaragala and 500 in Andradapura. At the end of the five months, 129 corona calendars have been marked in Mandragala, 21 in Andradapura, and five in Trikumali. These outcomes were widely published in both printed and electronic media. And through that, we were able to spread this process to four other districts in Sri Lanka. Thus, in conclusion, through the health promotion approach, villages could actively engage in this process of preventing the transmission of COVID-19 in neighborhoods and communities. At the end, I would be grateful to all four mothers who are the co-authors of this study as well. Thank you very much.